How's it guys? My name is James. Today we're doing a crash BLS course. So what we're going to be talking today is about hazards, hello help and why that's important and how to do it. And then we're going to do compressions, airway breathing. We will be breaking down what is CPR, why do we do CPR, when do we do CPR? And this is for pretty much anyone who wants to learn how to do the BLS approach or BLS assessment. Um, and then we will then demonstrate and explain each of these skills. So let's jump into hazards. Hazards is, comes first always because we always need to think about whether I'm in danger. So hazards always comes first. Then it's hello. The hello comes in so that we can assess the level of consciousness. Are they sleeping or are they actually truly unconscious? If they are, are unconscious, we're going to then look for breathing or any other signs of life. If you are a healthcare practitioner, you can feel for a pulse, but this is not encouraged for lay people because it is very difficult to feel for a pulse and you need to be trained to know how to do that. And even trained people struggle sometimes. We're looking for breathing and we're looking for a pulse. If there's no pulse and no breathing, we're going to call for help. So whatever country you're in, you'll call a different number if it's 911 or 112 or whatever country you're in, there's many different numbers and it's important to know what those numbers are. Some countries' cell phones come pre-programmed with these numbers in them. Then it comes to compressions. So compressions are when we push hard and push fast on the breastbone or the, the center of the chest, on the lower half of the sternum, we push hard and we push fast. This is important because we don't want to push too fast or too slow. So the rate we're aiming for is 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is pretty quick. We're wanting to push at least five centimeters on an adult. I, th I think that's two inches, which is really is quite deep. We are wanting to allow for proper chest recoil so that the heart can refill with blood. So each time we compress, there is good refill of the heart. The ratio of compressions to ventilations is 30 to two. So we do 30 compressions and then two ventilations. 30 compressions and two ventilations. This is for a adult. So once you've done your compressions of 30, you're then going to tilt the head back. You're going to then block the nose with your one hand and you're going to put your mouth over their mouth using a barrier device and you're going to give two ventilations. If you have no barrier device, you can do it, but uh, there are germs and viruses and things like that that could obviously impact you. So you need to decide if you're going to be doing compressions only CPR. That's when you just do compressions while you wait for help. That's completely acceptable when we're dealing with adults. Compressions only CPR works is because when a adult collapses from a heart attack or something like that and they're now in cardiac arrest, there is still oxygen in their blood. So just by doing compressions, you're moving that oxygenated blood around the body and that is still very effective, much better than no compressions. Once the AED arrives, you follow the three simple steps of any AED, you put the power on, so you turn it on, and you follow the, the, the prompts or the commands of the AED. You're then going to attach the pads to the patient. Once the pads are attached, you'll then plug the AED in. Some AEDs come already plugged in, so there's no need for the third step. The AED will then tell you to stop compressions while it analyzes to see what rhythm the heart is in. If the heart is in a shockable rhythm, you will then wait for it to charge. And once it's charged, you will then clear the patient and you will hit the shock button and you will start CPR immediately, starting with compressions. And that is the basis of CPR. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that was informative. Um, I will do a demonstration of this now. Right, so I check for hazards. Are there any hazards to me or to anyone around me? It's safe for me to approach. So I'm gonna approach the victim or person. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? He's not moving, he's unresponsive. I'm gonna check for a pulse and look for breathing. Two, one, no pulse, no breathing. Can I please get help? Can you call 112? And you're gonna start CPR. So lower half of the sternum, between the chest, between the nipple line. Three and four and five, six, seven. Well, the AED arrives, turn it on. Remove pads from package and apply to patient's bare chest. Apply pad, do not 
not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Don't touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Charging. Cool. Charging. I'm clear. Stay clear of the patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button. Now. Shock delivered. It is safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 